Let's take a look at how to convert customary units involving fractions. Convert. Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. So we have one pint and we want to know how many gallons is that? Well, the first thing I need to know is my conversion factor. My conversion factor tells me there are eight pints in one gallon. Okay, so that means if I'm going from pints to gallons, I would need to divide. Now, an easy way to tell whether you're going to multiply or divide with that conversion factor, well, if I'm going from pints to gallons, notice the number part needs to get smaller from 8 to 1. So that's a hint that I would divide to get my number of gallons. If I was going in the other direction, if I knew the gallons and I wanted to know the pints, I would have to make my number bigger to get from 1 to 8, so I would be multiplying. So in this case, I want to divide, so I have 1 pint, I'm going to need to divide that by 8 to get my gallons. Well, remember, divisions mean the same thing as fractions. 1 divided by 8 has the exact same meaning as 1 over 8, right? We can think of this as 1 divided by 8. So that means 1 pint is 1 eighth of a gallon. Okay, we want to convert, we have half a foot, and we want to know how many inches is that. Okay, well we need to know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So if we know our number of feet, we would have to multiply by 12 to get the number of inches. So in this case, we want to say half a foot times 12 Right? And again, notice we went from the smaller number to the bigger one. That's a hint that I'm going to multiply. If I was going from inches to feet, I would have to divide. I'm gonna, so in this case, we're multiplying by 12. Now, when you're multiplying with fractions, I can write this as 12 over 1, or I can think of it as half of 12. Well, half of 12 would be 6. So half a foot is equal to six inches. Okay, one teaspoon is equal to how many tablespoons? Okay, so again, we need to know our conversion factor That one teaspoon, well actually let's write it this way, there are three teaspoons in one tablespoon. That's the way you would usually see it written if you have a measurement table or something like that maybe in your binder or in your planner. So if there's three teaspoons in one tablespoon, how many tablespoons are in one teaspoon? Well, if I'm going from teaspoons to tablespoons, I would have to divide or make that number smaller, right? I would have to divide by three. So one divided by three, remember you can write that as a fraction. That's the same thing as saying one over three. So one teaspoon is a third of a tablespoon. Okay, two quarts. We want to know how many gallons is that. So you want to know your conversion factor for how many quarts in a gallon. Okay, well, there are four quarts in one gallon. Okay, so if we knew our number of gallons, we could multiply 
to get by 4 to get to our quarts. If we know our quarts, we're going to have to divide by 4 to get to our gallons. Okay, so another way to say we can think of this as 2 divided by 4, or another way to think of that is as a fraction, right? That's the same thing as saying 2 divided by 4 or 2 over 4. And this we can simplify or reduce. 2 over 4 is the same as saying 1 over 2 because 2 goes into both numbers, right? We can think of 2 as 2 times 1, and we can think of 4 as 2 times 2. So if we simplify or cancel our factors of 2, we're left with 1 half. Okay, another way you could think of that, you could say, well, 2 quarts is half of 4 quarts, so the number of gallons should be half of 1 or half a gallon. 